Hey guys, this is Andrew, and today I'm going to talk to you about guitar modes. Alright, so first I will tell you exactly what modes are, and I'm, I'm hoping that you guys know what scales are, because if you don't, go somewhere else and look up what scales are. Uh, this isn't the video for you. But, if you do know what scales are, modes are essentially just the uh, specific moods of a scale. And that I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think modes comes from the word mood. That could be complete bullshit. Not really sure. But, so let's say you have the key of C major, or the scale C major. Uh, you have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, and B. They're all natural notes, so that's why we're starting with that. And each note has a particular mode that's associated with it. And the way that you hear the mode is when you play the uh, key or the scale over the particular chord that highlights the mode. The other way is that you have a starting note or a bass note that you bounce between to um, kind of show the mood of it. So if I get my open A string here and I play the key of C major on the D string, ringing out with the A string, you will hear the key of A Aeolian or A minor. So. So it has a very, you know, sad feeling and whatever. But then you can also take this to another key. So let's say you have the key of G major. Uh, what would A be in that situation? Uh, a there would be uh, A Dorian, I believe. Yep, A Dorian. Because uh, it's G Ionian, and A Dorian, and then uh, B Phrygian, etc. Going up the thing. I'll show you those in a sec. But, so... That is a much different sound than... So they're both very different. And that's just changing literally one note from a Aeolian to a Dorian. There's only one note difference. Each note in the key has a mode associated with it. So right now we'll show a little graphic that shows all these seven modes in the key of A major right now. So now that you have seen the guitar modes in picture, um, if you need to go back to that, obviously just you can pause the video. Um, I'll also link to something down below uh, that, that has more information on that, in case you want to look it up. Um, but so each, each one has a certain chord associated with it. And they also have shapes associated with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these shapes, uh, just starting on the A string as a bass going up through C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, just so you can get a feel for what they're like. Sorry, wrong string. So, I hope, I hope my eight strings don't confuse you, but this is the fifth string that I'm on. So you start on the third fret, to the five, to the two on the G, uh, D, three, five, to the G string, two, four, five, to the B string, three, five, six, to the E string, three, five, seven. And the next note is the octave, so. You don't even have to do the high one. Uh, all these shapes are arbitrary. It really does not matter which shapes you learn because eventually it should just become one. No, the, the, the whole... The whole fretboard is your playground. So they, they should all become fluid at one point. Um, just starting out, it's good to have something to base off of. So if you see different ones online, don't be frightened. I, I'm not teaching you this, this wrong because there really is no wrong way. Um, but yeah, the shapes are all arbitrary. So that is the, sh the shape we're going to use for C. C Ionian, right? As you saw in the picture. And that's just the 7 going lower. So, really, you could start there, or you can start here, and this would be C Ioni, and this would be B Logren. But really, when you do music, the chord is what makes the actual sound. So I'll go up to Dorian next. Right, you start on the 5th fret A string, 5, 7, 8, to the D string, 5, 7, 9, to the G string, 5, 7, 9, to the B string, 
6, 8, 10 to the E string, 7, 8, 10. Alright, so that is the Dorian scale. Don't know why I did this just then. But <laughs> anyways, we'll go to Phrygian next. And Phrygian kind of has this weird, um, almost Egyptian quality to it, at least when I hear it. Um, so let, like, for, for the key of C, E happens to be Phrygian. So if I play my open E string and I play the key of C major, you'll hear the sound of Phrygian. So I'm just randomly playing these, but that is the sound of Phrygian. And, you know, it kind of has this creepy, eerie, evil-sounding Egyptian thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> so back to the shape. I'm starting again on the A string, just like all of them. So it's 7, 8, 10 on the A, 7, 9, 10 on the D, 7, 9, 10 on the G, 8, 10, 12 on the B, and 8, 10, 12 on the high E. And so that shape is done. So we'll go to the Lydian. Eight. So again, starting in the A. Eight, uh, eight, ten, twelve. Go to the D, nine, ten, twelve. Go to the G, nine, ten, twelve. To the B, ten, twelve, thirteen. To the E, ten, twelve, thirteen. Sorry, wrong string. All right, and to give you the, the Lydian the Lydian sound, in the key of C major, it's F, right? So, I don't have an F string right now, but I'll just hold this note F and just play some notes. So, um... Just random info on in the key of Lydian. Uh, Steve, I'm pretty sure Steve I said it was one of his favorite keys, um, or it is his favorite key. And so in his songs, you'll see a lot of keys and a lot of, well, sorry, you'll see a lot of chords that will accent the key of Lydian in his songs. Uh, the next one is Mixolydian, uh, which in the key of C is G Mixolydian. I must say my G right there, starting on the A string, so... 10, 12, 14, next string to the D, 10, 12, 14 to the G string, 10, 12, 14 to the B string, 12, 13, 15 to the E string, 12, 13, 15. Now, I'm sorry I'm going fast, but as I said, these shapes are arbitrary, so I'm just, you know, if you, if you have any trouble seeing what's happening, just rewatch the video. Um, so, Mixolydian is interesting to me because it's just, it sounds pretty sweet. Um, so I'll, I'll try to show you. So G mixolydian, so that the key of C. So I play the G note. It almost has a cool sound to me. Like that's that's the only word I can think to describe it. Cool. Um, don't know why, but it just sounds cool to me. And this this chord, um, the chord that outlines it. Is, well, I'll show you a picture in a second that shows all the chords that go with it. But in G makes a Lydian, um, I, I would list it as a major chord, but the one of the accents that you usually see with it is, or not accents, notes, but you usually see uh, G7, just a G regular 7 chord, not major or minor, though, just G7 uh, chord that goes along with it to sound out the notes a little better. So I'll try to give you a little feel for that. So that's that chord. Um, I'm not planning this ahead of time. I'm just kind of <laughs> kind of going. Um, but that's Mixolydian. So when you do it with the 7, it has a little jazzier sound. Um, it also kind of depends how you play, obviously. Um, Aeolian. So A Aeolian is minor. Uh, the equivalent of major is the Ionian one. But Aeolian is the equivalent to minor. And so if we start in the A... All right, so it's 10, I'm sorry, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 15, 12, 14, 16, 
13, 15, 17, 13, 15, 17. I'm trying to keep these three notes per string just because they're you know easier to play when you're alternate picking. So I already showed you with that. That was the first one I showed you. The uh... it has a very very sad sound to it. All right, so now we will go on to B Locrian, which is essentially the evil sounding one. Um, so C of C major, I'll play the B note and I'll just go along the high E string to give you the sound of it. All right, and those are all the modes, so I'll show you that one lastly, and then I'll jump on to the next subject. So B, Locrian, start on the 14th fret here, um, just to keep the pattern the same, you know, based off the five string. You go 14, 15, 17 in the A, to the D, 14, 15, 17, to the G, 14, 16, 17, to the B, 15, 17, 18, to the high E, 15, 17, 19. And then you're back to uh, your friend up here. And now the, the first one that I showed you, you could also play it like this. But anyways, so now that I've showed you the shapes for all the modes, so you just have something to work with if you want to uh, jam on them over chords or just actually practice the shapes if you're kind of new to the area.